Hey guys, Fred here, VE3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors. Uh, Sunday, what, December the 4th, I guess, today. Uh, it is, what time is it here? We've got, uh, probably getting on uh, 8 o'clock in the morning here uh, in Thunder Bay, Ontario, YQT. And uh, I did it again. I uh, missed out on the ARRL uh, 160 meter contest. I keep forgetting that it's the first weekend in December, uh, Friday, Saturday, and ends Sunday, and uh, I missed out on it uh, again this year. I generally like to play QRP. I have won first place for our district, our region, running QRP uh, in the past on 160 meters. Not a real big feat, in all honesty. I mean, operating QRP on 160 can be quite a feat, but you know. You've got to submit your uh, you've got to submit your uh, your contest folder if you want to even apply for uh, an award or even a, a place at least to put your standing in. So uh, you know there's probably those that operate and don't uh, submit their their logs, and I usually generally do for any of the uh, QSO parties or uh, any of the uh, very few contests that I participate in. I'm not a contester uh, by any stretch of the imagination. I'm not a real wallpaper chaser. I like to get, you know, the odd QSL card, uh, but again, you know what, it's about making the contact, so I'm not really, you know, all that worried about it, but as I said, I have placed first place in the ARRL 160 meter contest, I know the CQ 160 meter contest is coming up, I can't remember if it's a week after or near, I can't remember now, but I know it's coming up, but I know the ARRL is usually uh, the very beginning of December, the first weekend in December, so Anyway, I missed out. Uh, the one thing about 160, though, is that uh, you tend to work the same stations over and over, I found, on 160. Again, due to ground wave. Um, you know, I'll work a lot of Minnesota, Wisconsin. Uh, later on in the evening, the band may get a little bit longer. And I'll work into the Midwest, of course. And then uh, the odd time, I'll work into California, um, you know, on 160. Uh, but the next day, generally, you're going to hear the same stations again uh, over and over. At least that's what I find here in my geographical location. Um, so, you know, we are quite a bit north, uh, of course, you know, from everything states. So ground wave uh, is crucial, as you guys know, when it comes to AM radio and, of course, power. But I usually always run five watts out. I do not have much of an antenna set up this year other than my Wyndham. I generally try to set up even a long wire or just throw out a couple pieces of extra length of wire uh, for 160. Uh, lots of times it is just a long wire uh, favoring the south and uh, I'll operate that. But anyway, just wanted to let you guys know that the uh, ARRL 160 meter contest is on this weekend. I missed it again. That's probably about the third year in a row unfortunately, but that's what happens. So next year I'll have to... Uh, time myself a little bit better and I, I'm not hearing a whole lot like I said I'm using a, a compromise antenna here basically so that's IA so that's Indiana so uh, there's an Indiana station in there so I'm still hearing some stuff here this morning uh, sunrise is I think 8 8 15 8 20 I'm not 100 sure this morning uh, but of course as the sun comes up the band will definitely change anyway guys I'm rambling on so uh, we'll catch up with you all a little bit later. Have a great uh, and a safe Sunday. Take care of each other. Uh, have a great weekend, what's left of it. And all the best moving forward into the week ahead. So take care, folks. Uh, this is Fred in Thunder Bay, Ontario, YQT, saying 73. And we will catch up with you all a little bit later. 73, stay safe.